Hello beautiful world! Now today I'm here to talk to you about my seizures because I did have a seizure on Sunday and as you can probably tell I'm still not speaking properly because I actually bit my tongue on both sides. Um, it wasn't so bad on this side but the side was much worse but uh, in the end both sides of my tongue uh, have been swollen and it takes a long time for the swelling to go down so I end up talking really weird until the swelling actually goes down so <sighs> what can I do this life? It's not so much about the seizures, uh, well it is about the seizures, but it's about one of the aspects of having seizures, of being epileptic. Can't forget medication, like medication is so important. What happened was um, I got so caught up in watching someone streaming on Sunday uh, that I completely forgot to take my medication. I took the medication obviously after the seizure, but I was uh, about three and a half hours late for my medication. Usually I'm like tops maybe an hour late for medication and even that gives me a little bit of a headache. But being three hours late clearly is not good because uh, on top of having the seizure, I had an aura beforehand. I didn't have enough time to uh, get up and take my medication. I was already on my bed. So I pretty much just um, tried to lay down and tried to make myself as comfortable as possible, as safe as possible. Um, I had completely forgot to move my laptop out of the way, but when my mom came, she obviously moved the laptop out of the way. But the thing is, you can never forget your medication because when you're taking medication, your body is going to go through withdrawal. And with one of the withdrawal symptoms, no matter what kind of medication you're taking, is seizures. So. No matter, even if you don't have epilepsy, if you, even, you don't experience seizures, you're most likely going to have a seizure if you forget medication. That's why it's so important to take it and take it on time so that you don't have to deal with this kind of issue that I deal with on Sunday because I was stupid and I saw the time I knew I had to take medication. I was being an idiot because I was like, oh, okay, um, I'll get up in five minutes. And five minutes turned into another five minutes and oh, I'll be fine, and just another five minutes and because I still wanted to watch the stream and I didn't even, I didn't want to get up for one second because they were streaming one of my favorite video games, uh, Fable. So, I mean, I enjoyed the stream so much that I forgot to pay attention to my health and take care of myself. So, that is one thing that I am... I'm not going to say that I'm not going to do again because... I probably will do it again, but I will try not to do it again because I really don't want to be uh, having seizures, especially tonic-clonic seizures because after those seizures I always have a swollen tongue and I always bite my tongue even a little bit. Even if it's like a really, really short seizure, I still bite my tongue and the swelling is just... It's irritating because I can't talk properly, I can't enunciate my words pro properly, and it's, it gets frustrating, and it, it just... I've had seizures for a little bit more than a decade. I don't want to have seizures anymore. There are so many things that I can't do, that 
that I'm not allowed to do because I have seizures. Sure, I can't drive. I'm not allowed to even get a driver's license. But that part of it doesn't really matter to me. Not being able to travel by myself because I have to have somebody with me who knows how to take care of seizures, it gets really, really frustrating. I want to be able to travel the world and I want to continue vlogging and posting videos on my health channel and uh, I want to keep making people laugh with my comedy channel. Like my comedy channel that that's that's the biggest thing for me. I want I want to continue to make people laugh even if they are dumb jokes because I know for a fact because that's how life goes that my mom's not going to be around forever. I'm not always going to have somebody who's going to take care of me every second of the day. Well, my mom pretty much, she doesn't have to take care of me every second of the day, but she chooses to because well, she's a mom and she's going to worry. I won't always have somebody around to be there to take care of me when it matters, when I'm having a seizure. The smaller seizures doesn't matter so much, but the big seizures, the tonic clonic seizures, those matter. Sure, I'm, I'm getting auras now, before my seizures, obviously, and that does help because I can move things out of my way and lie down in a safe position still worries me. I say I say this constantly, but it's frustrating. It's really, really frustrating. And my point here is, don't forget your medication. Don't forget to take it on time. Honestly, just make sure the people that you love, that you tell them that you love them. Don't waste any time. I just realized, I don't want to end this on a sad note, so... I love you guys. Make sure you give everybody you love lots of hugs and kisses and one one one. Now, if you like that, please come back for more. Like, subscribe, and be sure to tell your friends. I swear it's not a chore. Mm, be sure to check out my other channels, my comedy channel, and my vlog channel. My comedy channel for more laughs on Thursdays and my vlog channel to see what I'm up to every day. I love you guys so, 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 so much. Mwah, mwah.